Selena, pleasure to have you over here on the Delighted sidelines of here. Roland Garros. Yeah. Hope you're having a great time. Absolutely. Looking forward to the finals this afternoon. Very much. <laughs> so, Lena, tell us, um, Unilever, yes. the big responsibility of playing the chief HR officer globally. Unilever as a company has such an immense impact of positively lifting humanity for so many years, for yeah. so many decades. 190 countries, 400 brands, over 2.5 billion people worldwide who use a Unilever product day in and day out. Yes. And you have the responsibility of really ensuring that all the people in the entire Unilever value chain as well as the extended Unilever value chain yes. are motivated, are inspired, yes. are driven to keep this whole value chain serving the humanity, yes. which you call as the Unilever Sustainable Plan. Yes. Um, what is it that keeps you motivated? What is it that keeps you inspired yes. to play the role that you're playing? Great question, Karmesh. It is a privilege and honor to be in the service of all our people at Unilever, who are in the service of the rest of the world. Right. So uh, I'm inspired by our vision as Unilever, our purpose to make sustainable living commonplace. And I'm inspired by the fact that Unilever believes that we can be the business that shows the world that you can do good in the world and you can perform and deliver and you can do it all together. You can do well and do good at the same time. So that inspires me. And uh, you know, it's uh, fascinating to see how people in the business contribute in ways that you cannot imagine. You know, one of the programs we have is Unsung Heroes where we recognize the people who every day through small acts make such a big difference to the company, make such a difference to the two and a half billion consumers. So those are the things that inspire me. Our people, our brands, what our brands stand for, the purpose of the company, all of that has kept me inspired for 26 years with this company. Amazing, amazing. It's been a fascinating journey. Yes. Uh, you having joined as a Young management trainee. management trainee, having served in so many different yes. functions of Unilever, from yes. factories to field yes. to employee relationships, and finally yes. getting into the chief HR officer role. Uh, a related question. Um, world over, every industry is getting yes. disrupted yes. with new value chains evolving, the digital disruption phenomena that's happening, and every organization is trying to discover its transformation journey and its transformation path. Yes. And Unilever clearly has been one of the leading players in the consumer industry yes. in shaping this journey. And you in particular have been on the forefront reimagining how HR yeah. plays a strategic role yes. in the evolution. So tell us something about that journey. Yes. You know, Karmesh, I started off as an engineer. I'm an electronics and telecommunications engineer. I was a lousy engineer, but it has ensured that I have a geek inside of me. And I really think that the world of head and the world of heart is coming together in unique ways in the next few years. Right. So for me, people transformation is at the heart of digital transformation. If you see the three legs of digital transformation, it's technology, it's rethinking all our processes, it's people. But of the three legs, it's people that's central. Because changing behaviors, changing culture, reskilling all of us is massive. So I really see people at the heart of this digital transformation. And the three things that I'm focusing on, which I call capacity, capability, culture. How do you create capacity for people using technology, automation, to do the value-added things that make a difference to the consumer and take away the burden of non-value-added things, cumbersome processes, bureaucratic forms, clunky systems that don't work. How do you create capacity for people to work in new and different ways to do the things that truly matter? Right, right. Then how do you build capability? How do you reskill at pace? Because the jobs of the future are not the jobs of the past. And people don't get redundant, jobs get redundant. So right. how do you build capability at pace to reskill them at pace so that everyone is learning every day, that there's lifelong learning that instituted in the company? And equally, how do you step up your leadership capability? Because coping with change, coping with thing, unprecedented change needs inner game, needs a strength of character, needs personal mastery, needs personal learning agility. So how do you focus on both your functional capability 
which is changing fast, and your leadership capability, which needs you to develop some new muscles of the inner game. And last but not the least, culture. How do you make everyone feel like they own the business, that they need to be entrepreneurs, that they can use limited resources but have big ambition? How do you unleash that entrepreneurial spirit inside the company? So capacity, culture, capability are the three things that I put a lot of energy and focus behind. And I really see Infosys playing a great role in helping us drive capacity, capability and culture. And sitting under the three C's is the C of credibility. Because unless you ensure the foundation and the basics work well, you'll not have the credibility to do the activities in capacity, capability and culture. So for me, it's a great partnership with Infosys to ensure that the credibility piece is really, really strong. So that we can put our energy behind the agenda that's going to make a huge difference to the business and through the business to the world. Fantastic. And hopefully we have got the foundation in place yes. now, the credibility established. Yes. What is your vision three years from now? Or maybe maybe I'll take a shorter window. Yes, three years Eating, is not Three very years long is too long world. in today's <laughs> world. But yes. a year from now, yes. what is your vision of the HR organization of the future? I would imagine that the HR organization is leading to a world where 100% of the workforce have reskilling ambitions and plans. 100% of the workforce are having a purpose that they can believe in and are passionate about what they do and are well. So the investments in the well-being that we are doing. That our people are so satisfied, that pride in the company, I know this is a lofty goal, but 100% of people who work for Unilever are proud and engaged at the highest levels imaginable. So my vision is to truly have people as the competitive advantage for Unilever. Fantastic. And in that same length and same light, yes. what would be your expectation from Infosys now yes. that we have earned the credibility, we yes. are on the 3C journey yes. of capacity, capability, culture. Yes. In the next 12, 15 months, yes. what would be your guidance yes. on how Infosys should really bring its capabilities together to make your journey successful. I would urge you to drag us, to push us and inspire us and show us what's possible. Like all companies, we have many fragmented solutions, but the time has come to integrate solutions, to integrate data systems, to think more holistically. So I would love the partnership to inspire us, to make us think in more integrated, not fragmented ways, right. to make us think of the entire employee journey, end to end, not just bits and pieces of it, and to try and imagine both the consumer experience and the employee experience, because for me, both are very interconnected. Right. So inspire us, show us what's possible, you know, bring other companies like us together, create a coalition of the like-minded, and let's try and invent this together, the world that none of us can even imagine what it's right. going to be like. Absolutely. And Lena, it's so fascinating, the vision that you have carved out, the trust you have put in, uh, in us. And we really look forward to working together, bringing our creative energies together, and really converting this vision into reality. Fantastic. Thank Best you so much, Lena. Thank you.